I don't sing that song in my car. I don't know all the words. And all I know is if anyone should ever write my life story, for whatever reason, for whatever reason there might be, you'd be there between these lines of fame and glory yes. for Jesus. But I still can't repeat. So I asked the Lord, well, Lord, what do I talk about? And the Lord said, I want you to talk about the plain, simple truth that everybody deals with. And you know what the plain, simple truth is, minister and elder, that we have to deal with? Is sometimes we fall. But you got to get back up. That's right. So I said, well, Lord, how do I bring that out without it being a, 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 a pounding sermon? God said, what pounding? He said, go look what David realized when David fell. Y'all know Pastor preached a few months ago about David and Bathsheba. Didn't I? Maybe we got to get a court in this hell. We're going to work on it. And, and, and David fell. And I want you to know that this particular psalm that David writes is in direct response to when David realized, I made a mistake. And is there anybody in here who has never made a mistake? I, I need to know. Quick. All right. Nobody in there can say they've never made a mistake. But my question is not, have you made a mistake? It's what did you do after your. Mm -hmm. I say, some of y'all in here, I don't look at nobody. I'm going to look at the drums. <laughs> have a quick temper, say amen, amen. snare. Amen. And, and fuss a whole lot. Amen. And, and, and some, I'm looking at the snare. And some of y'all <laughs> worry beyond worry. Amen. Amen. So true. And, and, and my Bible tells me that there's a point that worry becomes. Amen. Sin. And, and we come to church and we dance and we shout and we raise our hands and we walk out of here and we tell somebody a piece of our <laughs> but, but the Bible said let this mind be in you which is also in Christ I'd like to know what peace of mind you gave if your mind is supposed to be the same mind that Jesus so, so I want to talk to those people who will be honest with themselves and say, yes, pastor, I, I have a temper that, that talks before I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, pastor, I, I worry too much to the point that I have to ask the Lord to forgive me because if I keep worrying, it means I have no faith. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not. See, you can't have faith and worry about it at the same time. That's not. I want to talk to those people out there. I want to talk to those people that will be honest and say, I I'm going through some struggle. I want to talk to the same folk that have been saved a long time that consider going back into the world. You folk that don't want nobody to know that you sick of church stuff. Oh, oh. praying for me, Sister Tony. Sure am. I need it. <laughs> There are church folk in church, been saved for over 40 years, sit the church. Mm. I want to talk to them folk. Let's see what happened to David. I'm just going to pick a couple of verses. Let's go to verse 6. David says, Behold, thou desireth truth. In the inward parts. See, I want to talk to you because some of y'all are, are, are fronts. You know how I do about fronts. A front ain't nothing but what you see. What I want to know is what's behind what I see. Mm -hmm. And David starts this off by saying, Lord, you want to know the truth. Because the Bible says later on that the truth shall set you free. free right? And the Bible says that God loves true worshipers. Right? So true is a very big word in this one. But watch what he says after it. He says, not only do you desire the truth, but you desire the truth of the inward. 